What's up guys, um, so this is an, this is actually going to be the first of probably hopefully many videos that I do that is like just me talking and doing commentary actually, so yeah, I think this is the first time I'm going to be doing that, and I decided to do it with an accompaniment of me drawing the thumbnail for this video. I actually just wanted to see, well allow you guys to see the process of me drawing things and what I use and how I do it, which really isn't anything extraordinary as I've just picked up digital um, art like literally a couple months ago back in December last year around that time almost a year now so uh, I think I've gotten pretty good not anything too special but yeah I mean hopefully you guys enjoy just the background stuff of me drawing I guess you could just say it's a speed paint if you see any problem just because you know y'all you know but yeah so today, as you have read by the thumbnail and uh, the title of the video, I'm going to be doing an unscripted commentary of my general opinions on the 4th of July, or Independence Day, as some people like to call it. Um, yeah, before I even get this started, yes, I already know um, I'm up to like 15 days late. Okay, at first I was thinking, alright, as long as I upload it within the same week, alright, as long as I upload it within the same... I don't know, 10 days period. Alright, as long as I do it within the same fucking month of July. You know what I mean? So, yeah, there's been stuff getting in my way. Because uh, actually, I've had to been doing, you know, online school. As everyone else has been doing. But I had to do it a bit early. It doesn't take up a lot of my day. But, you know, it, it still does a bit. And, yeah. So, uh, to get to what the nitty gritty of what we're going to be talking about. So, the 4th of July, as you all know. Independence Day, July 4th, 1776, Declaration of Independence, all that all that good stuff that you tend to learn in uh, school or, you know, whatever education system. And, you know, this isn't a really, um, this isn't an unpopular opinion that a lot of people like to say, you know, not exactly everybody in this country can like or enjoy the uh, purpose behind 4th of July. Same thing as, um, same way as, like, some people can't exactly enjoy Columbus Day. They're just, like, they're, in a way, they're similar in regards to the way that specific minorities of people can react to them, based upon the history that's behind it. And as you guys know, I've already said it, like, multiple times, but yeah, uh, it's hard to believe because of my voice, but yeah, I'm actually black. And, you know, y'all already know how it is back then, like, in terms of... Uh, in general, before the abolition of slavery and that type of um, labor, you know, back at that point, it was never prohibited and uh, post the freedom of uh, colonists and um, rebels of the uh, of, of the British uh, Empire that had taken over those 13 colonies at that point, you know, you already get the history behind it. Um, I, I don't exactly want to get too historically accurate. Well, I do want to be that way, but I don't want it to get too specific about it. But you get the general consensus that um, mainly it was just white white people being free at that point. Mainly um, white men and women at that point that had that ha had the right in order to avoid any type of jurisdiction or rule under the British Empire at that point. Um, and you know. Throughout the three divided regions of the 13 colonies, from the northern region to the south, uh, of course, they always had different forms of economic uh, e economic process and uh, progression. And for the most part, man, if you get towards the south, I mean, black people were obviously still slaves back then, and uh, the Atlantic slave trade that happened out right around that time, I mean, huge factor in this shit happening. Uh, with triangular trades that are happening between the three continents and how, you know, that was needed in order to uh, produce the economic process that was needed back then, which was like through crops and agriculture for the South. And it stayed that way for quite a long time. And, you know, as a black person myself, I don't give a damn about the 4th of July. I'm just going to be brutally honest with everybody. Uh, if you celebrate it, do you? I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to you know, shit on you for it, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a patriot, but, uh, I really don't like this country in general, like, I don't, I don't like the, uh, 
philosophy or or you know certain traditions or um, ideals that are common within this country at all I'm not trying to be some cynical nihilistic dick that's just like likes to criticize and find the negatives out of everything but if you look at if you take a good look at the way the state of the country as well as its history you see a lot more bad than good you see a lot more evil than positive um, on a basis level unless you actually go out of your way to look for good people that have like had positive impacts on this country which isn't exactly that evident but yeah man to be honest with you guys I, I don't celebrate the 4th of July like that I, I never I, I, I know the Star Spangled Banner and all that stuff but I don't care about it at all I, I'm just not a patriotic person like in general because um, the more you learn about it throughout the years uh, beyond the history books and you take it upon yourself as a person of color doesn't just have to be black people it could just be any person of color because man I'm gonna be honest there's a lot of colored people that originated within this land that have just been fucked over entirely if you just like take, take a few looks at it uh, extensively beyond textbooks but yeah if you take it upon yourself, you realize there's a lot more bad than good, so I'm not gonna shit on any- If you're not a person of color, if you're white, I'm not trying to shit on you, I respect you guys as, just as much as anyone else. I, do, I never look at race first when I look at a person. But I'm just saying that I'm not the biggest patriot, and instead of celebrating the 4th of July, I celebrate my independence patriotic type thing in, on June 13th for Juneteenth, because as for myself, as a black person, uh, at that point there had been an entire removal of slavery like in terms of slave labor being labor being like anywhere active at any point in time I and mean, besides all the other political crap that got in the way basically put them right back in the system but that's beyond the point um just saying guys i mean i don't hate america i don't want to hate america i don't want to hate anything because i don't think hate is worth anyone's time but if I'm being brutally honest, man, I, I'm not a patriotic person whatsoever. I, I, I don't have any American flags in my room or in my house. I don't I don't like singing the Star Spangled Banner or whatever. I'm just not that person. And the 4th of July serves little to no significance to me. And if you want to pop your firecrackers, do what you do, do as you must. I mean, if you enjoy it, I'm not trying to, you know, forbid you from doing anything and trying to morally critique and castize you, but, you know, that's just my opinions on the 4th of July. Uh, do as you must, the fireworks don't bother me, and, yeah, but, to conclude, uh, I mean, the 4th of July is an objective thing, and depending on who you are, you may enjoy or dislike it. I mean, only throughout my naive years of childhood was I able to actually look at the 4th of July and be like, yeah, I love this so much, but, I didn't really know the meaning behind it, but I'm glad that I've been able to educate myself now to learn really what specifically dro drove um, particular acts and wars and all sorts of things that form our country that to where it is today. And um, yeah, that's just my opinions on the Fourth of July. I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm just stating my facts here. And if you're gonna, if anyone would like to go in the comments and try to have a political debate with me, I'm just speaking my mind. There's no scripts behind this. There's no extensive historical analysis. I could do that, but that defeats the purpose of me doing this video. This is from the heart, and this is from a person of color who is just simply expressing their opinions on what they think about this um, holiday or tradition. There's actually quite a other few holidays that I actually don't celebrate because I just. I just look at things differently like I don't I'm not trying to do it so I can just get no enjoyment out of life but I'd rather be I'd rather be knowledgeable and wise than blissful and happy you know sometimes life just gives you grief but hey I'm not trying to give any negativity here it's just my general opinion and yeah uh, I'll be being I'll be sure to like do a channel update at some point later on this month um, about Per, like potential social media outlets that I may be expanding to just for the sake of it um, Texas video part 2 should be coming at some point in August I doubt I'll be able to do it this month but I will work on it um, as well as the Hanna-Barbera retrospective I'll try to continue on that as well as stuff on the gaming channel so yeah uh, that's all I gotta really say guys and um, until then I shall see you all in the next video hope you enjoyed my little speed paint and uh, yeah farewell